Hello and welcome to EBA Day 2023 in Madrid. Kindly joining me now in the studio away from the busy exhibition floor is Derek Kirby from Intercope. Derek, it's great to see you again. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thanks, Hannah. Thanks for having me in. It was great to have you in the studio. And now we're discussing European instant payments, connectivity on premise and also in the cloud. And off the back of that, I'd like to begin by talking about how cloud-based payments as a service, CSM, gateways actually work. So let's start there. Sure, yeah. I mean, the cloud has been conceptually around for quite a while. Uh, it's been a bit slow on the transaction banking front. Um, it's improved an awful lot. The, the public cloud vendors that are out there and the technology has certainly come, you know, up to a point where people are really considering it in relation to things like transaction banking and payments. Sure. So I guess that's one thing from, from a technology point of view. But then also if we look at something like instant payments, uh, for a lot of the banks, um, it's around since 2017, SEPA Instant for example, mm -hmm. but by the end of 2021 it was only 11% of transactions or SEPA transactions, credit transfers were instant. So right. we're a long way short of where we should be. And as we hear from the regulators and things going on at the moment, it's going to be mandated pretty soon. So a lot of banks are looking to say, how can we you know, adopt SEPA Instant within our existing infrastructure? And it's a challenge because you have your real-time systems for your high-value payments, and then you have your batch-based SEPA credit transfer or domestic payments. So how do I do domestic type low value transactions in an instant mode? So what we're seeing is that that's quite a challenge for the banks. So they want to look and see is there parts of that life cycle that could be potentially put into the cloud? Um, and you have vendors like ourselves out there who are doing these gateways to connect into the cloud, TIPS and RT1, and we're able to do those in the cloud. So it's become quite a, an attractive proposition for banks to look at. So Derek, thank you very much for highlighting some of those challenges banks are facing in that space. And I also want to talk about uh, some of the instances we're seeing where these gateways are really gaining traction. So what about that? Yeah, so some of the banks have looked at their operations and said to make it 24 by 7 to do payments like this across the Eurozone, that's going to be quite a difficult thing for us to do as we highlighted through the challenges earlier. So they are saying, well, maybe we could look to offload this into some experts who house a solution in the cloud. So we've already seen with Revolut, a large fintech in the UK, yeah. they have outsourced um, the clearing and settlement for both RT1 for SEPA Instant and also for Step 2 for credit transfer mm -hmm. into the cloud and provided that we provide that via our solution doing EBEX connectivity. And, and the reason that they've seen that has been such an advantage is because they would have had to really change their infrastructure to be able to adapt to that. So instead of doing it that way, you know, hiring more resources, buying machines, they looked at the cloud and said this is a really good way to do this. Sure. So in conclusion then, do you think that we should be moving uh, clearing to the cloud? Well, I think, obviously, my, my, my hat in is, I think it's an excellent way to do it, but we still do on-premise for most of our customers. But I think it's a really good opportunity, particularly with SEPA Instant, to look at the cloud because it's not a mechanism that people are able to do in-house today as easily as they would, have, would, would do with other schemes. So I think the cloud is definitely a viable solution. Some good advice to end on there, Derek. Thank you so much for sharing your insights. I'll let you get out there on the exhibition floor to share them with the rest of the delegates. But thank you very much. Thank you, Hannah.